A very different theory that makes use of the cognitive shortcut ID is the Elaboration Likelihood Model, or ELM in short. It was proposed in 1979 that information can be processed through a central and a peripheral path. When recipients process via the central route, they think about the message extensively. The message passes through the different processing stages. The peripheral route, however, is a shortcut. It's activated by so-called peripheral cues, like humor, credibility of the source, fear or desire. The theory tells us that persuasive attempts should take into consideration the predispositions of the audience. Specifically, a. the motivation to understand the message, and b. the ability to understand the message. An example. Let's say Tom wants to buy a car. He wants the best one out there within his price range. So he is a. motivated to compare information on cars. And also, let's assume Tom is b. able to understand the information that different brochures and websites give him. Because Tom is both motivated and able, the central route of persuasion will probably yield the best persuasive result. Having sexy models on the hood of his car will less likely persuade him. His friend Charles, however, is also looking for a car. He is perhaps also able to compare cars, but actually not so motivated to go through all of these websites and brochures, like Tom is. Therefore, the peripheral cue of the sexy model will perhaps work on him. These are just some examples of many theories on cognitive shortcuts. It's important for every student of communication to understand, to some degree, how and why cognitive shortcuts work. Everyone has them. Because even though cognitive shortcuts do not always lead to the best logical outcome, they save a lot of time and energy.